Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. Neil McNeil here along with Katie Nordine. And for the second week in a row, there has been a fight at school between at least two juveniles that has ended with medical help being called. Last week, it was at a football game in Guilford County. And today, it happened at Cummings High School in Alamance County. At least one student was taken to the hospital after a fight with a knife. We know this fight started in first period. Video that was shared with Fox 8 shows it could have involved two female students. Fox 8's Daniel Pierce is live outside the school for us. Daniel, you've been talking with parents waiting to pick up their children. What's going through their minds? Yeah, well, they're a little uneasy. I mean, even given the fact that we know that this was an isolated situation and that both uh, students are being or were treated for non life threatening injuries. I did speak with one dad who was out here waiting for his son right now. He did not know and we still don't know if this was a stabbing or a cutting and even whenever he was getting those updates from the school district on his phone, he was calling his son who was a freshman who was worried and he says that even with all of the security that we have right now, it's situations like this that keep happening. Tuesday's fight between two students has left the school district with more questions about how to keep your child safe. It's more than just finding short term fixes. It's finding long term solutions within the halls of Alamance Burlington schools. We need our parents to help us. We need our families to help us in these situations. The first hour of class, the fight broke out. Fox 8 obtained video of it, but we will not show it. Within the seven second clip, you see two female students wrestle each other to the ground, both throwing punches. Only one appears to have a knife, which she appears to try and stab the head of another student. The teacher in the classroom gave verbal commands, but they were never followed. Burlington police have not said if the knife was brought there by a student or something sharp was already inside the building. The district doesn't have metal detectors. Uh, and that may be something we have to look at down the road. We have cameras that have been installed here as part of our bond that was uh, in 2018. So we have more cameras on our campuses, more safety on our campuses. Of course, the implementation of the SROs. The officer did uh, go quickly into action to aid the administrators here on campus. At least one student faces the possibility of being expelled from school for the next 365 days, which would bring the total number of Alamance Burlington students expelled this school year to 19. Many of those 19 long term expulsions involve female students for reasons the district hasn't fully figured out. This can really ruin their high school career when things like this happen. So uh, don't involve yourself with this. Uh, look at other ways to handle conflict and those kinds of things. Burlington police and the school district are both investigating the situation. After the school finishes their investigation, it'll make a decision on whether or not to expel the student. There are also the possibilities that that student could face charges. Live in Burlington, Daniel Pierce, Fox 8 News.